folks, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. Simple and delicious is always my motto. And this week I'm showing you one of my new creations. I call it crispy prosciutto shrimp rolls. They're outstanding. You're going to love it. Let's get to it. Use a nice fresh mozzarella ball. Cut them into about half inch slices and then again into about two and a half to three inch strips. We'll need some shrimp. About a 31 to 40 count works perfectly for this recipe. Now if you don't already have them cooked, here's a quick way to do it. Place raw shrimp in a pot of cold water. Place on high heat. When it boils, turn the heat off, cover for two minutes, and then strain it, and then put it into a bowl of ice water. And then when they're chilled, they're ready to go. Now, if you have someone that doesn't like shrimp or maybe shrimp allergies, not to worry. Skip the shrimp, add the cheese. These things are still delicious. You'll need one and a half cups of seasoned panko breadcrumbs. I like to season it a little more with a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then mix this thoroughly. For our wet mixture, we'll need two eggs, well beaten. To begin rolling, lay two pieces of prosciutto on a flat surface slightly overlapping one another, like I'm doing here. Then we add the cheese, and then the shrimp, and then simply roll it up, tucking in the ends. Let's do another one. Lay out your prosciutto, slightly overlapping, cheese, shrimp, roll it up, tuck in the sides, and it's that simple. And here's the one that we're doing without shrimp. Simply add the cheese, roll it up in the same fashion, tuck in the sides. Done. These will be delicious as well. Coating them is simple. Wet mixture, then the dry mixture. Use a fork to help roll it around and ensure that the panko crumbs are stuck securely to it, on the edges as well. Set them aside on a plate or a sheet pan and let's get ready to cook. In a pan on a medium to high heat, add about a half an inch of peanut oil. To test to see if it's ready, just simply add a breadcrumb and when it's sizzling, it's time to do your cooking. Simply add them to the oil, and it doesn't take very long. It's only about two minutes per side till they get a nice golden brown. After two minutes, gently give them a flip. Two forks is really handy for doing this. After they're done, simply remove them and place them on a paper towel to drain. You choose the sauce you like. You could use ranch. You could use plum sauce. My favorite is sweet chili sauce. Give it a try. If you have leftovers, they're great the next day. Warmed up in the oven, 400 degrees, 10 to 12 minutes. Works perfectly. Let's take a look at these plated up. Oh, there's my sweet chili sauce. This was at our appetizer party. They were a big hit along with many other wonderful dishes. I cut one in half. Take a look at it inside. You can see that beautiful mozzarella cheese melted, that lovely shrimp, the prosciutto, and that delicious crispy coating on the outside. Oh my, you're gonna love it. So normally on camera at this time, I would be trying some of those delicious, crispy,
prosciutto shrimp rolls. But here's what happened. They were so delicious, Kelly and I started snacking on them, and before we know it, they were all gone. All the other ones are spoken for because we're having an appetizer party. So all I can tell you is they're outstanding. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya!